Welcome to episode 92, Sergey Brin, the founding of Google. This is an outline of episode 92. There are three reasons why we study Sergey Brin. First, he's the co-founder of Google. Second, Google was founded to make the world better. Do no evil. Third, in 2017, he's the richest immigrant self-made billionaire in the U.S. and in the world. Partly, we wanted to we want to make the world a better place. He was born in Moscow, Russia, in 1973 to Jewish family. He immigrated to the United States at the age of six. Here's a picture of the Brin family. His father, Michael Brin, was professor of mathematics at the University of Maryland. His parents were mathematicians and Jewish, which limited their career opportunities. Father went to a conference in Warsaw, met a whole bunch of colleagues from the West, saw what life was like outside the Soviet Union, came back, sat the family down, and said, "We have to leave." His parents brought with them a sense of purpose they instilled in their son. It boiled down to a simple message. Don't come back with a B. Don't come back with the second place award. Brin studied mathematics and computer science at the University of Maryland, graduating at the age of 19. From 1993 to 1995, he earned Master of Science from Stanford University. More importantly, he met Larry Page at Stanford University. The search engine Google was born in that hotbed of technological innovation. The computer science department at Stanford University. Larry Page and Sergey Brin met as grad students in 1995. They had much in common. Their fathers were both college profs, and their mothers were scientists. Both were born in 1973. Both grew up with and loved anything to do with computers. Well, you know, when we first.、Uh, Started the company, you know, we could barely、uh, afford the the hard drives、mm -hmm. that that we needed to store,、yeah. kind of the web at the time, which was much smaller than it is now. But the hard drives were also much smaller.、Yeah. We finally got them. We needed to house them somehow, so we built like this case out of、uh, Legos. If you know the children's yeah, toys, yeah, sure. And、uh, we continued in that scrappy hardware tradition, just making by with what we could get. Together, Brin and Page invented something called the backlinks. Backlinks is based on the philosophy that not all web pages are equal. Some web pages are a lot more valuable than others.、Uh, record of backlinks, they call them. Page noticed that behind every web page there were hundreds or even thousands of other pages that linked to it. It was a eureka moment that would change the so-called information age. Then they realized that that list of backlinks could be used for ranking. If you have more backlinks, it showed you were a better page. If a lot of other websites linked to a web page, that probably meant users thought it was good. The genius was in recognizing that this. Larry Page and Sergey Brin both worked for Yahoo for a while. Well, we we were working at on in our PhDs actually. And we started downloading everything on the web, and we started、um, doing interesting research on it.、And、we actually went to、um, Yahoo once we had something interesting. We went to David Filo, who's、right. one of the founders of Yahoo. Right. So, and we sort of went off, and we continued doing our research for a long time. So David said that to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And eventually,、uh, we actually started a company. We finally we finally broke down and said, "Oh, we're not quite." Going to finish our PhDs right away. We're going to start a company to get this thing out into. Here's the mission of Google. The idea is that we take the all the world's information and make it accessible and useful to everyone, and that's our mission. And that's a pretty important mission. Ultimately, having the right information available to you、uh, at any time when you need it is extremely valuable. Google was started in a garage. I wish I could say I had a great eye, and I picked them out as <laughs> students out of all the students at Stanford, and I said, "Oh, come and rent my garage." I wish I could tell you that,、um, but I bought a house, and houses are really expensive in Silicon Valley. And I was a student 
And so I wanted someone to help me pay the mortgage. They were looking for space and, um, you know, there were just the two of them and they had one employee and space was also really expensive and so the idea that they could just move into my garage quickly and easily at a relatively low cost um, for them um, was really... Google's most famous mantra, don't be evil. I don't want to work at a big company uh, idea in the back of my head and so I was interested in something that would be a little bit more provocative and a little bit more interesting and um, maybe make people a little bit uncomfortable. And so just sitting there in the meeting, I was just trying to think of, of something interesting. And so what, what popped into my mind was just don't be evil. When I came in, I thought this was a joke. I thought that it was just a way of marketing within the company. And then one day I was sitting in the room, and I'll never forget, we're having a discussion about advertising. And one of the engineers named Ron pounds his fist on the table and says, that's evil. And all of a sudden, conversation stopped. It was as though everyone had jumped around the table and, and hid underneath it. And all of a sudden, it focused the conversation on whether this particular change was positive or negative for customers. We ultimately did not make the change. Google becoming the internet empire. Google may have started out as a simple search engine, but today with applications like Android, Chrome, Wave, Picasa, Google Apps, YouTube, and Google Ocean, and now even its own smartphone, it's become an internet powerhouse. In just over 10 years, Google has become one of Silicon Valley's biggest and most unconventional players. Number one place to work. According to my data, in 2014, 2 million people applied to work for Google. In 2016, 3 million people applied to work for Google, making it more difficult to gain employment at Google than it is to get into Harvard. The number one uh, workplace to, to work for. And you supply your, 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 your employees with three gourmet meals a day and entertainment and a gym that I saw beforehand. And, and is there a, are you afraid that there's a point that all this beautiful stuff is going to turn into a, a, a trap of honey which will, will tr make them work around the clock? Or, this, or, this, or this, is this your goal? <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think we want our employees to be productive. Google, the new evil empire. Increasingly difficult to say that one is not evil um, when thinking about the scope of different activities that, that service providers are involved in. It's no but Oracle is in a legal battle with Google, accusing the online search giant of using its programming language without permission. So if what they did is evil, that makes Larry Page evil. And I know his slogan is, don't be evil. Exactly, that's what and, I'm talking about. And, and, uh, and I think he slipped up this one time. But uh, the... Um, so he's a good guy, except this one time when he... I, this really bothers me. I don't, I don't see how he thinks you can just copy someone else's stuff. It really, it really bothers me. The Google Glass flop. Not everything Sergey Brin touched turned into gold. The device that was supposed to be the biggest future gadget since touchscreen tablets instead became one of Google's major public and market disasters. Essentially a smartphone in the form of glasses, minus the phone. However, despite the hype, Google Glass ultimately failed to sell because of its extravagant price tag, less than favorable reviews, and lack of exclusive features, leading to a cease in production and... What have I learned today? Genius, genius, genius. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be 10 lessons from Sergey Brin. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.